what's good? What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Q1 and CB. I'm back with another motherfucking video. You know what I'm saying? Today's video, I'm going to be doing something that I haven't done in a long time. I'm going to be doing a story time about when I lost my brother a couple months ago. You know what I'm saying? It was a, like a, one of the toughest times for me because I never really experienced anything like this. It was my first time ever experience losing a seven, you know what I'm saying? Well, Y'all seem to get emotional. That's bad with me, you know what I'm saying? But that's if you give a thumbs up, you don't give a thumbs down, kind of why, you know, catch too, you know what I'm saying? You want to see more react? I said more reaction videos. What the fuck? If you want to see more story times for me or any other videos for me, make sure you guys go on my channel and check my videos. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of story times for you guys, you know what I'm saying? But without further ado, let's get straight into this video, you know what I'm saying? Where do I start? The day was April 16th, 2023. You know what I'm saying? And I got the call that my brother lost his life. You know what I'm saying? It was just a normal day for me at work. You know what I'm saying? I was at work desk getting my money, grinding. You know what I'm saying? Now I received a phone call from my little brother. My little brother, his name is uh, Reese, you know what I'm saying? Like every time when he called me, I get scared. When he called me random, when he called me random out of nowhere, I get so scared because he the, he, every time he called me, he always be about some bad news and shit, like somebody dying and shit that he know that I was close to or that we both are close to, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I saw him call me, I hesitated to look at the phone. And I answered it. He was like, Kiwanis, you know, uh, Quinny got shot, blah, blah, blah. He got shot in the face and he, he ain't moving. Oh my God, when I tell y'all, my heart dropped to my stomach. My heart jumped to, dropped to my stomach. I was like, why is pretty here? Why is pretty here? Blah, 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 blah. He said, I'm going uh, to keep you updated. You know what I'm saying? About where he at. About how he doing. So he he hung up the phone. I'm just at work just looking sad because my whole mood has changed. You know what I'm saying? My coworkers, they starting to look at me. They're like, CB. What's going on, man? You look so down and shit. And I remember telling my uh, my work best friend, she hate when I call her my work best friend. My best friend, one of my best friends, her name uh, Ray Ray. You know what I'm saying? She was like, Bessie, what's wrong? I said, I'm gonna, uh, can you walk, can you go go outside and, and talk for a minute and walk around look for a little minute until the next plane come? In my head, in my head, I was just thinking about what if I lose my brother and shit. I don't know how the fuck I was going to act or react and shit. You know what I'm saying? I was just praying that my brother was all right. I was just praying. I was just praying. Praying. But deep down inside, I, like, I, was, I was like, I knew he was going to make it. Because I got that feeling. I was like, he got shot in the face. And he wasn't moving. I was like, yeah, my brother was gone, man. He, he gone, bro. He gone. Like, I, you know, you know when you, when something happens to somebody, you always, I had a friend that, oh, they gonna make it. You gonna, they gonna make, cause I almost lost two of my brothers. One my little, well, I almost lost my, one, my little brother when I called my phone. I almost lost him in 2021 to gunshot. But in my, I ain't had that type of feeling. But when he got shot, because he got shot in the leg and stuff, blah, blah, blah. He was just doing this on the And then my I, my other brother, he got into a car accident. He was just in a coma. And I had a feeling that he was going to make it. But when my, my but when my big brother got shot, I ain't get that feeling. Like, he going to make it through. So I'm just walking around that whole airport, just... Waiting for my little brother to call me back and tell me to give me updates about my brother. I was just worried. I was just, my body started shaking and shit, like my adrenaline. I was like, man. 
I was like, man, bro, let's hope it, this ain't true, bro. Let's hope he make it through. But deep down inside, I already knew that my brother was gone, bro. I was just preparing myself. Me, I always prepare myself for the worst. You know what I'm saying? So not even five minutes later, my little brother called me crying. He's like, he gone, man, he gone. That's when I paused. I paused. And I started walking. I got real quiet. I started walking. Because I was in the middle of the airport. I ain't, I ain't started crying until I got to my back to my states on my, on my way to the states because I don't want nobody to see me crying like that and shit because I just lost my brother. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just looking at me because everybody that knows me, they know I'm a very energetic person. I'm always the life of the party. I always bring good vibes around people. But when once they saw me shut down and quiet and look so sad in the face, yeah, for my, my my broke best friend, Ray Ray, she grabbed me and I, no, it wasn't her. It was um, my other coworker. Her name, her name is Ether. She grabbed me. She's like, what's wrong, baby? That's why I just broke down. I started hugging them. I was just start crying, bro. I was just, I was just crying, bro. That my tears is flow because that shit it was beating me up in the inside you know what I'm saying they, they was hugging me so it's gonna, it's gonna be alright kid it's gonna be alright it's gonna be alright I was like my brother gone man I'm, I was, I don't know if I was pissed or sad I think I just just had mixed emotions but having them there to comfort me I appreciate them for that shit, for real, for real. And one thing about my job that I like it is that they care for, they really do care for me. And I care for them too. Yeah, I love my work family, bro. They understood where I was coming from, what I was going through. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit, that shit wasn't, wasn't a good feeling at all, man. Losing somebody that you grew up with, your own f blood, like losing a sibling, and that was my first time losing a sibling, man. It was just, it's not a feeling that, it's not a good feeling at all, bro. That, that, wasn't, that wasn't a good feeling, man. That shit hurt to this day, bro. Like, sometimes, Sometimes I be like, I was questioning like, why, why he, why he got to leave, man. You know what I'm saying? He had a bright future. You know what I'm saying? He he been through a lot in his life. You know what I'm saying? But let's get back to the story. So my my job told me I could leave early, so I clocked out. I clocked out, went home and stuff. I was just sad, just thinking about it. They put me on grievement. I was I, I missed work for two days. I missed work for two days. So I stayed home for two days. So I came back because I want for them, I want to be sitting, sitting here emotional and stuff. You know what I said? I know my brother didn't want me I want me, me to be all emotional and stuff. So I just went back to work. Man, my brother was 30 years old, man. He was 30, man. He had two sons. Man. Like, it, it was so crazy, man. Man. That was like, what I wanted to, one of my worst fears is just losing one of my siblings at a young age, bro. I, I, I want all me and my siblings to grow old together. See our kids grow together, you know what I'm saying? But you know, God has better plans for all, for a lot of us, man. He got better plans for him. 
he want him to be at peace now. Cause my brother was going through a lot of stuff mentally, bro. Yeah. And the way I, that I heard that my brother got killed, it really pissed me off. It pissed me off so bad. They say that they shot, he was, I think he, I think they say he got in two with some dude and he, and he turned around and they shot him in the back of the, in the, his back and they, and they came back and shot him in the head, the back of his head. When I hear the details, it really pisses me off because that's still make me want to get revenge. And like, it really pissed me off so bad, man. Like, my brother didn't deserve that shit, bro. My brother might talk a lot of shit, but he didn't mean any harm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Corny, I love you. I miss you. Shit would never be the same no more. Not you irritating me. Like, shit is crazy, man. Shit is crazy. But, yeah, man. If you like this, if you get to, get to this point in this video, if you guys like, comment, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you guys for coming this far to this video. You know? Yeah. But, yeah, I'll see you guys in this video. I love you guys. Peace.